there. How's it going? All right. Thanks for coming. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, it's still early for me. Okay. <laughs> um, the first thing I do is <clears throat> I get the uh, I go to my online screen for my internet service. And the first thing I do is I I go to my internet site and download all my orders. During the day I run my store here, results. And pretty much what we're doing is we're helping customers uh, accomplish their goals. We give them uh, top of the line service. Basically they come in here, they ask me what they want to accomplish, if they want to lose weight, uh, if they want to build muscle, if they want to be a professional bodybuilder, you know, we set them up with uh, the correct proteins and diet plans for them. And uh, we carry the full line of uh, pretty much every company out there, Optimum, Twin Lab, Muscle Tech, EAS. This is Wisconsin. This is uh, anything that happened here. One day it could be 80, the next day it's 40, and we get snow the next day. This is it. My name is Art Atwood. I'm 28 years old. I was born uh, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I've been here all my life, and uh, I don't plan on moving Not anytime soon. This is uh, where I was raised, and I went to school here for four years. Uh, at UW University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and then uh, grew up uh, playing sports, and that's how I got me my base for bodybuilding. And then when I was about 15, I uh, converted pretty much over to bodybuilding exclusively. And then uh, <clears throat> I met a couple friends, and they got me into bodybuilding shows. And then uh, I competed in the Teen Wisconsin in '93. I won my state title, and then I won the overall. And uh, that was the same year I was supposed to go to nationals. Something came up. I had something with school. And that was the year that Jay Cutler won the team nationals. So I think I'll get my chance uh, next year if he does the Arnold or the, uh, the Olympia. I always uh, used to start with leg press first. I'm warming my knees up before I go into hack squats. And uh, this will really uh, warm my knees up and get the blood flowing. This is my staple exercise. I do these pretty much as my main mass builder. Keeps the knees and the lower back healthy, but you got a lot of stress in your quads. And uh, I'm in this for the long term, so I'm, I want to keep my knees healthy, lower back healthy. But I'll still do the hack squats. You won't see me squat, keep my lower back, too high the lower back. Today's my last major leg day. I'm going to push them a lot of volume today. The thing is with legs, you don't want to hit them too, too close to the show. So I usually, about 10 days out, you won't see me hit them real hard. Just do some leg extensions, leg, uh, leg curls. Hitting leg press and squats, they tend to hold water. So uh, you, won't, you won't see me hit them any closer than 10 days out. So today's my last, like, get a lot of blood in the legs and get them pumped. And uh, that's what we're going for, is getting a lot, of, a lot of pump. So here we go. I got my, uh, I got my pro card in 2001 at the Nationals. Uh, that was my second year of attempting at my pro card. And uh, I was pretty excited. I was pretty happy to get it. I wanted to get it by the time I was 27. I got it right before I turned 28, so I accomplished that goal. Um, my first show was the uh, Toronto Pro. Uh, the reason I did that show is because I thought I'd just get my feet wet and try and see what would happen. Uh, needless to say, I won my pro debut and I was pretty happy. I beat Marcus Rule, who uh, just won the night champion one week earlier. So uh, I was ecstatic about that. To, meet, to beat someone at that stature. And uh, now my second show will be the Olympia. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. Uh, I don't know what to expect. You know, I, 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 every show, my goal is to plan on 
uh, improving by 10 to 15 percent. Uh, right now, I'm looking to come on stage. I was 255 at Toronto. I'll be about pretty close to 270. And uh, Chad Nichols, my trainer, he he said I'll probably be dialed in about 10 percent harder too. Uh, I think I'll be a lot harder than Tor uh, Toronto. Um, as far as my placing, I think uh, I think top 10 should be no problem, and that's my goal. I should be satisfied with that, but everybody wants to do better than top 10, of course. So I think a big accomplishment for me would be top five, anything higher than that. And, uh, and I'll come on stage pretty lean at 270. I should be shredded glutes. Um, I should be right there. I got a back that can hang with Ronnie. Um, I got legs. I got the chest, arms, so uh, we're excited. I can't, uh, I can't wait. And uh, I've been ready for the last two weeks. <laughs> I wish it was this weekend, but uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We go and uh, give it our best shot. Takes us three sets to warm up. Let's think about Wisconsin. It's hard to train here in the winter. Off-season diet pretty much is, uh, it's not very long, because I'm doing, I do two shows usually a year. Uh, one's in the spring and one's in the fall. And basically the reason I do that is to stay lean most of the year. Um, it's good for, I can stay lean for the for my promoter and uh, my sponsors. And pretty much in the off-season, which is only about a couple months, I pretty much eat whatever I want. As long as I get my, uh, I get about probably four to 500 grams of protein a day. I break that up into about, probably about seven, eight meals a day. It consists pretty much of chicken and fish and a lot of red meat. And uh, off season, based the difference between off season and pre contest is off season, I'll use as many carbs as I can possibly fit in. That could only be anywhere from 800 to 1100 calories, or 1100 grams of carbs. <clears throat> um, that's roughly about seven, eight thousand calories. Good shock to the system. I go up to about 315 and body weight. Then I start cutting down. First thing I start doing when I get ready for a show, I cut my meals down to six meals a day. And uh, 
I start cutting carbs. And my protein's always at about 500 grams. Divide that into six meals, maybe seven. And uh, we divide uh, the carbs down. We start out at about 16 weeks. We keep our carbs at about 250. And uh, we start dropping from there. I go as low as uh, about 100, 120 grams of carbs a week or a day. We do that for a week. Then we pop it up to about three or 400 grams on a weekend. So the only way you can get there is suffer. <laughs> and no one likes to do it, but uh, that's what it takes to get shredded. So yeah, I, just, I don't go above. Uh, my, my highest body fat, I think, is like 8 to 9%. Yeah, anything, anything more than that, and you, you got to cut down way too much, and you'll lose way too much muscle. I think one of the keys, I think, uh, like Jay Cutler even recognizes, if you can stay lean all year round, then you can, um, you pretty much, you hold on to a lot of your muscle. You don't have to do the extreme dieting. Um, people might think 130 grams of carbs a day are, are extreme, but if you're getting that protein, you're still holding on to that muscle and uh, the fats are a little higher, so you have enough energy to get through your workouts. You know, I don't know how someone can go and drop 70, 80 pounds, it's just incredible. I mean, that would be like me being, like I had, the highest I usually go is 315, 320. Um, the highest I've been was 320, and that's uncomfortable. I don't know, and that, you know, I'm going from 320 down to, you know, 270, that's, you know, 50 pounds. I can't imagine 70, 80 pounds, what that does to your heart, and it can't be too healthy, so. Uh, I can keep that, that stable body weight pretty much all year round. I do a lot of uh, I do a lot of volume training. Uh, that's what that's what that's a big thing I think of my success is I go heavy. I got my heavy days. I got my four to six rep days. Uh, a little bit less now because of my joints. Do you want to save the joints? But uh, I do a ton of volume. You know, I do the, uh, uh, back when I was a kid, I read a book about German volume training and a whole bunch of volume training that seemed to be the, the key. And I saw some real good results with that. Uh, as far as weights, um, I'll go like for chest, for incline. Um, the lowest I'll go on reps will probably be six reps and I'll go with four plates and 25s. I think that's like four, 455, something like that. And then um, for shoulder press, the heaviest I'll go on that, military, I'll go to four plates and I'll do that four to six reps. Um, sometimes I get that for eight. Uh, let's see what else we got. Legs, I do a lot of volume training for legs. Legs is a volume thing because uh, I want to keep the lower back <clears throat> nice and um, I, I injured my lower back when I was a kid from squatting um, and over the years of playing football, so I can't go real heavy in squats. So I do a ton of volume for the leg press. I load up as much of the weight as I can on the leg press. It's usually only about 27, 28 plates, 45 pound plates, and I just wrap them out. And, uh, and then um, <clears throat> I usually do about uh, four sets per exercise and I do three to four exercises per body part. I hit everything twice a week. And uh, it, I, I used to not hit legs twice a week because it used to grow so fast. <clears throat> but now that I'm going against Ronnie and the company, uh, I got to play catch. I got to get them back up to where they used to be. They used to be 33 inches. So uh, they responded well. That's why I think I gained, you know, almost 15 pounds in like the last three and a half months. I started doing legs again twice a week and they blew up. But uh, yeah, everything hits twice a week and back, you know, again, volume, volume, volume. I do about probably 18 sets twice a week. Um, shoulder again, 15 sets, two to three times a week even. And uh, some people call it overtraining, but uh, I don't like grow. <laughs> you know, if I think if you get enough sleep, you get eight hours of sleep a night, you get your six, seven, eight meals a day, uh, anything can happen, you know. You can't, uh, you can't limit yourself and always think in the back of your mind you're overtraining because you will. So I, I kind of train myself to, you know, not ever think about overtraining. But overtrain, oh well. I'd rather overtrain than undertrain. Under training, you're going to look the same most of the year. You're going to look the same year after year. Uh, at least if you overtrain, you might hit an extra growth spurt, and you might grow real quick. And that's what uh, I think I've did in the, like, the last, last year. I think I competed at Nationals was 245, and I wasn't a super hard 245. Now, you know, one year later, 
uh, I had with, with Chad's uh, contest prep information stuff and his help, uh, I'll be almost pretty close to 270. So that's uh, pretty drastic, and people can see the improvements in my pictures. And uh, it's all about determination and just not giving up. And uh, don't believe in overtraining. I'm not a I'm not an overtrainer believer. One more. Ah, oh, they're cashed. Let's kill the hams. days. It's pretty easy once you die for 16 weeks. 13 days is like nothing. It's actually uh, a relief. <laughs>
I just do a touch-up exercise, chest. Just four sets of uh, upper chest. I just do four sets. This isn't real heavy. This is just, uh, you know, on incline, it's one of my stronger lifts. I go, you know, I usually warm up, but this is a machine. It's, I'm pretty warm as it is. Um, but on, like, the barbell, I'll go to, uh, you know, I'll warm up, and I go to four plates a side. I go up to five plates a side. I can get that. I think I did that three weeks ago. The heaviest, and was six six reps. So, yeah, I just this is just uh, keep the blood flowing, the muscle. People just want to contact me, they can always get a hold of me on my website, you know, artatwood.com. And um, I, it goes straight to my email, which is uh, artatwood at hotmail. And I can answer any of the questions. Uh, if you want to check out some of my stats or some of my contest history, if you just have a question about health and fitness, they can get a hold of me. It'll depend on what I charge for guest appearances because after Olympia, it's probably going to go up a little bit. You know, I won, uh, you know, every, every show it seems to go up a little higher. So. You know, everyone uh, wants to set me up for next year. I told them we're going to wait until after the, the Olympia and the GNC, and then uh, we'll have a set rate. You know, it won't be anything like Ronnie, but, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty reasonable. I'm pretty fair, and people, uh, all promoters are pretty, they're pretty satisfied with my performance. And, uh, you know, I'm into my fans. They like, uh, they like to be entertained, and uh, that's what we're all here for is entertaining our fans. And uh, if it wasn't for them, you know, Bodybuilding wouldn't be a sport.